You. What up, guys? I'm back with another reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to Mongrel Top 20 Greatest Clips of All Time. I only really wanted to react to this because I was just I was just watching FNCS. I was watching Aussie Antics, you know, um, commentary over it. And Mongrel and Sandwich ended up qualifying. And I'm just, bro, I was, like, so hyped. Because, obviously, Mongrel has been off and on the game for, like, the past three years. Just, bro, he's just been going off. Like, his motivation has been swaying. And he's only just recently picked the game back up and actually been trying to get, you know, to get back to form. Because he did come back some other... Uh, I don't know how long ago it was. But he came back for, like, maybe... a like two months a couple he came back for a bit then he went on a vacation then came back and now he's back to grinding but you know it's been three years since he's actually made it FNC um made actual grand finals and won which was back in stark season which i think it was season chapter two season four or five i'm pretty sure it was four which was three years ago it's crazy you know Mongrel still being able to qualify, even though Mr. Savage did help him a lot because, you know, Mr. Savage actually stuck around, so he's kind of up to date with a lot of, uh, com you know, with the competitive scene. But Mongrel held his own, especially for coming back for his first FNCS. Like, they just... I thought he was going to... Uh, Mr. Savage was going to go with Pink because they were doing super good, but Pink ended up going with um, Vico, you know, Mongrel and Savage ended up teaming up. Good content. But the, you know, the original video will be in the uh, description below. Shout out to Fortnite Funny Moments. And yeah, let's get right into it. I've seen this clip so much. People were, like very confused on what happened. Because, okay, let's rewind this back. Let's rewind this back. We'll go at like half because I can't be bothered going uh, two, 0.25. So obviously Mongrel, he gets shot out, so heavy snipe, he didn't even, people said maybe he landed on the person and that took his momentum away, but it doesn't even look, from what I just saw, what we just saw, it doesn't even look like he landed on his head, so he couldn't have, he couldn't have fucking got his momentum stopped by that, he looked like he just hit the ground. Like, Mongrel's literally already took the damage, and he's just getting the elimination. The only other thing is, he probably would have, because his ping is super, I don't know what his ping is, because I can't even see it up in the left corner, even though it's 1080. I think he might, like, if his ping was good enough, he might have been able to shoot him and just get the health just before dying, but I don't know what happened here. This shit's just hella weird. I don't know, maybe comment what you guys think happened, but I think he got, like, the... He got, um, health back just in time. Because how much health is he actually on? He's on, like, 60... I don't know, I don't know how he survived that. Some bullshit. Yep, simple trick shot. I remember this one as well. Bit of a setup, man. This ain't cold. Why are you sitting up? I don't know if it, it's just me, but like, trick shots in Fortnite aren't just aren't as satisfying as they are in other games, especially like COD. They're just not satisfying to me. I don't know why. Every time I see one, I'm just like, eh, that, that, that's hard, I guess. Like, they, they, they don't really do anything for me. They're just like, eh. Maybe that's just me. Ah, oh, yeah, this this is another kind of moment. Looks at the camera, bangs his keyboard. Have you guys ever done? Have you, okay, have you guys ever broken like any of like, your like equipment? Cause you know I know a lot of people that rage, and heaps of them haven't actually broken equipment. They've just gone mad, you know, done their thing. They don't destroy their equipment. I've definitely <laughs> destroyed controllers. I've destroyed a lot. I don't think I've destroyed a keyboard yet. I've gone on close. I've like banged the keys and lost like a lot of the keycaps. But actually destroying the keyboard, I haven't done that yet. Which I'm actually surprised because... Yeah, I thought I would have destroyed something by now, but... I'm just kept it con to controllers, you know? Just controllers. Let's hope it stays that way. 
but he also banged it so hard that the lights turn off. You know it's dead then. As soon as those RGB, bro, you fuck something if your RGBs turn off. Ah, oh, the classic trio, Benji, Benji, bloody ah, uh, Mitra and Savage. Not, not Benji Mitra, bro. <laughs> Benji Mitra and Mongrel. This is iconic trio. Also, Mongrel, Savage, and Benji. I miss, but I do miss having Benji Fishy in competitive Fortnite. I remember it would have been three years at this point. Bro, watching like Benji Fishy's Benji Fishy's videos, like literally every you know every time he uploaded, he didn't upload every day because you know competitive wasn't every day. But bro, there was consistent content, and they were always placing like pretty decently. They would always. There was heaps of first, heaps of seconds, you know, top tens and all that. Bro, I'd always watch that. They, bro, they were cracked. Bro, Benji Fishy was... Nah, Benji Fishy was him. But, you know, now he's a Valorant pro and he's doing good there. Getting his, getting your, uh, getting his money, so, you know, he's calm. Though I do wish he would come back to compete a Fortnite. It would be, it would be cool to see, but... Yeah, he's a pro in another game, so... As well does, bruh. If you, if you guys, if you guys were around for this specific, like, uh, era of Fortnite, bro, that infantry rifle was lethal. Like, Mongrel obviously has some of the best aim. So when he was using like go keyboard and mouse, bro, he was using that. He was hitting shots. But when I tell you, I was using a uh, control at the time. I play keyboard and mouse now, obviously. Bro, I was using controller. This was around the time controller was probably at its at its highest, bro. The aim assist was at its highest. It would stick to anyone like nothing, bro. It was like glue. They've it's heavily nerfed now. Like I play it on it, especially bro, especially on PC. Like, they've definitely nerfed it a lot. If you go back to console, you can feel the difference between the two aim assist. They still haven't really um they haven't nerfed it on uh, console as much. PC, it, it's definitely been nerfed, especially from this era of Fortnite, bro, like, chapter 2, season 2, to, like, I think it was season 4 or 5, where they finally fixed it at least a teeny bit, this is when, like, a lot of the big controller pros, like, Unknown Army, Dave, Re Mera, and all of them were kind of, you know, coming out, just because Amos just became so OP, that controller players... We're just popping out the woodworks. And even some pros like Epic Whale ended up switching to controller for that season. And I think he did win the FNCS. But it was cra it was so crazy that literally Epic Whale switched to controller and won. He literally won. Because it was that OP. A lot of the big pros, like I was saying, Day, Reed, Mero, and all of them, they were starting to blow, like, come onto the comp scene at this time. A lot more control players, especially under army as well, were blasting onto the scene because Amosis was so OP. It just was. You've seen the clips of the unknown army. I might do a video of him next. Bro, he was beaming everything. And then as soon as it gets nerfed, you know, he he got some. You know, he got he, he gets some like um uh some earnings now, but bro, he's not getting as much as he did back then. He won FNCS as well. He's not as, you know, he's not as good as back then. Obviously, he abused the control aim as a special legacy. Holy shit. That's gone now and he's not doing as good, but... Hey, man, he, you know, he used the controller to its full capacity. But bro, the controller with that, <laughs> that specific rifle was lethal. This season sucked ass. I can't lie. This season sucked. Okay, and the and the did anyone actually like the season? There was so many like there was so many gimmicks, which you know, and an update sense is good. There's a lot of there was a lot of things coming out, but bro, there was so much annoying stuff. Bro, the compared I I didn't even watch the compared um, because I, I I like casually watch competitive even now. I'm like super into it. I'm watching FNCS. I'm still like a casual watcher, you know. I'm not like fully into it. I do know most of the teams, but most of the time I don't know. 
bro, season X hit. I'm not. I'm not even joking. This is the one season that I actually like straight quit. Like I quit the whole season. There's not been any other season where I've actually quit. I'm not, bro. Chapter one, season ten is the only season I've ever quit. Like Fortnite. I came back after, obviously, and maybe uh, did I even come for the events? I think I came for one or two, but actually playing the game, I just straight quit. <laughs> like no matter how shit the game did become in some like um, in some chapters, I never actually quit. Like I'd like maybe not play as much, but I'd I wouldn't you know I didn't just straight up quit. Like when Max came out, I quit, and I remember saying to my friends. This is going to be OP shit, and they just didn't believe it. They're like, oh, no, it's probably not going to be that OP. And the thesis, nah, these motherfuckers say that, oh, no, gee, I, I knew it was going to be it. No, you didn't, motherfucker. I remember what you guys goddamn said. I remember because I was the only one who goddamn quit. I was the only one who straight up quit that season. I quit that whole se- I remember smashing my controller, quitting that season. I posted on my Instagram that I don't even have anymore. I was like, man. Fuck Quinn this goddamn season. The season's shit. Just posted up some, like, picture of, with my broken controller and, like, a, uh, like you know, that grey filter on. I was like, man, fuck this season. The season sucks. This, the, yeah. the mechs are so annoying. Paired with the, uh, those, uh, those, uh, POIs with the gimmicks, you know, um, what was it called? Like, Tilted. When it had that cowboy themed, uh, cowboy theme, and you couldn't build in there, bro. I remember seeing a clip where like uh, people were bringing the max into tilted, and they couldn't do anything because they couldn't build. You just couldn't build, so the zone, so you couldn't build. So if it went into the tilted zone and people had max, you're guaranteed just to die because you can't do anything because the max are OP as shit. If you try shooting at them, it'll take you like two billion bullets, plus. You could go invisible, the, your character and the mech go invisible, you can't see them. Fucked. The season was fucked. Damn. Damn. Brothers, <laughs> it's so, it's so crack up looking back. I'm pretty sure the F1 is Mitro. Or Mongrel, Mitro and Tayson. Even though they did win that FNCS, there was this, I've seen so many videos. I, I'm pretty sure I saw one. 10 minutes straight of like mongrel Micho not listening to Tayson because Tayson was the IGL and he's Tayson won a lot of NCSs he's like one of the goats when it comes to Fortnite in my opinion bro they were just not listening to Tayson at all like this was back when mongrel was like and his I'd say this was his like prime obviously he could he could you know like now that he's back he could be um come better but this is when Mongrel was in his prime, like, there was no, <laughs> he was probably top three players in, like, in the world, maybe top five, maybe I'm giving a bit too much props, you know, looking back, you know, bias, but at this point, bro, he was at the top of his game, and he had a good, really good idea on Taysen, and they were just not listening to this guy, there's literally 10 minute compilations of them just not listening, I might watch that, Maybe I might, I might watch that, but it's it's like holy shit! I don't even know how they won that FNCS. Like Mongo was so lucky that he had he had like God aim back then, because nowadays if he tried to do half the stuff he he does like he did back back in um, chapter two season, whatever, bro, he would he get he would, he would, he'd get shit on every everyone if you jump in someone's box, bro, they they've Kovacs for like a thousand hours. They're just gonna head dink you, pull up their ski, you're dead. Straight dead, you're out of there, bro. Like, you're just straight dead. You can't just jump into people's boxes now, because people are really good at box fights. They're like, they're headed to lightning fast. You can't be doing that shit anymore. You just can't. And when Mongrel came back, he also kind of came up, he came against this um, this concept because he still had like the chapter, the chapter two, um, he had the chapter two mentality. He came back, you know, he was like, yeah, I've been gone for a while. He re- he retained a lot of his mechanics. But since, you know, that's chapter two was a while ago, he he maintained a lot of what he did back then. 
when his Max were like the like top top tier and tier one pro, and he was just getting straight shit on. Like, obviously, for like a normal like ranked and maybe like tier two pros, he could keep up with like um how he was playing before. But now tier ones, bro, you try doing that, they just got a straight just head dink you edit. They're a lot smarter now, even though they do edit. Like a lot of them, like Peterbot, just edit super fast, but they're still smart at the same time. You know, they're trying to go for angles, different types of edits. They're not just doing mongrel classes because now people like, are used to the mongrel class, so they know how to counter it. So, you know, they do side stairs now instead of just doing the mongrel classic. But nah, mongrel's done good to, you know, come back from that. Anyway, him and Savage are. I was super, I was super surprised that they actually called, man. It's good to see. And I'm just having an orgasm. Just having a straight orgasm. Bro, the bubble wrap bills look so good. To me, like, bro, these, these look so good. I don't know why. I guess that's the end of the video so uh, before before you know I get into the outro I just want to uh, do, did you guys did you guys use stretch rays like the OG OG stretch rays when you um you're able to actually use it because <laughs> I do not like stretch rays bro to me bro it looks ugly as shit people like people always like nah but every time someone says, oh, I miss old stretch rays, I'm like, bro, I could not watch, I could not watch streamers. That's why I didn't watch too many Minecraft streams. I like, I like watching, I like obviously watching competitive, but I could not, stretch rays just looks so bad to my eyes. I don't know why. It looks so ugly. Like obviously it gives like, makes people feel like they've got advantage since they're so, sh like the character so stretch is so like hard to miss them. they Literally, like, two times the size. And you got better FOV, but it just looks so ugly. Like, I can't even lie. Even with, um... Bro, it used to be way worse back in there. But Peterbot's, like, 720 by 1080. It's not, like, super stretch, but, bro, it just looks ugly to me. I don't know why. It's like, ugh. It don't look good to me. Maybe that's just me. But tell me if you guys like the OG stretch rays and if you want it to come back. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And, uh, yeah, peace out.